In this question part, we have to find the total distance traveled by the particle. To do so, we'll use the following formula from section 5.9 of the formula booklet. Let's substitute into this formula based on the information that is given in the question. So we can write that the distance is equal to the integral from 0 to 10. Since we are looking for the total distance traveled and the domain is from 0 to 10, then within the absolute value, we have the function, so t sine t minus 3, and at the end, we have dt. From here, we'll use our calculator to evaluate the integral. To do so, we'll press math, and then choose integration, so fn int, which is number 9. We'll begin by entering the limits, so 0 and 10, then we'll enter the function using the absolute value, which we can find by pressing math, scrolling over to num, and choosing abs, so option 1. For t in our function, we'll use x, so we get x sine x, remember to close the brackets here, minus 3. We'll complete our integral by adding x here. Now we just have to press enter, which gives us that the value of the integral is 37.0969, and we round this number to three significant figures. The third significant figure is 0, and the fourth significant figure is 9, and since 9 is larger than 4, we'll round up and get that the distance traveled is 37.1 meters. Let's see two exam taking tips to help you maximize your marks on similar questions. The first one is that when you're using integration to calculate the total distance traveled by an object, make sure to include the absolute value sign in your expression. The second tip is that when evaluating a definite integral on a paper two question, you can simply use your calculator to get the result. As for work shown, it is enough to write down the substituted distance formula as we've done here.